Hi, I'm Jonathan Goldman, and uh, it's a pleasure to be uh, taking this opportunity to be able to uh, talk to you about my perhaps greatest uh, interest in this life, which is the use of sound as a healing modality. I got myself involved in the sound healing movement before there was a sound healing movement, before there was actually sound healing. I was playing in a rock and roll band on stage. And one night, I like to say that the light of God struck me. I don't know what happened, but it was probably around 1980, and the band took a break, came back on stage. I was playing uh, lead guitar and singing original songs, uh, schooled in the venue of Jimi Hendrix, and uh, I looked out at the audience and became aware that the ambiance of the club, combined with the music that I was creating, was really inducing this whole energy of uh, negativity and violence. And now, no doubt, the alcohol, the intoxicants that different people were imbibing was certainly helping create this ambiance, but also the music that I was creating uh, was basically enhancing this uh, negativity. And I thought, gee, I wonder if music could be used to make people feel better. I just had that thought. What if music could be used to make people feel better? But I had been playing professionally for about 15 or 16 years, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but when I was like 16 years old, my high school band beat Bruce Springsteen out in a battle of the band in New Jersey, and we used to, you know, my other band, used, we used to rehearse with Aerosmith, so we were playing in the semi-big fields, and uh, all of a sudden I had this realization that the music that I was creating was not really on a level inducing higher consciousness in people. And I went home, and I began looking around, trying to see what uh, was going on. And really, sound healing didn't even exist as an energy form then. Um, but what happened was that within a couple of weeks, uh, doors began to open for me. And uh, this lovely being by the name of Sarah Benson, Sarua Benson, who is a dear friend of ours, uh, was having a uh, workshop, and I was turned on to this workshop on using sound and music for healing. And uh, I was placed, I remember, in the middle of a circle with a group of people sounding my name, and I was holding a quartz crystal with my eyes closed. And please understand, I was beyond not being New Age. I was Mr. Rock and Roll guy. And all of a sudden, I was transported to this crystal pyramid in the middle of the woods. It was an amethyst pyramid, as a matter of fact. I remember the light coming through was green, which is probably what uh, might happen. And when I came back to my body, I said, I've got to find out more about the sound work.